Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We're opening up a box of the brand new 2020 Panini Select Baseball. They haven't made Select Baseball for quite some time, so this is uh, going to be a fun trial rip. Uh, we were able to pick this up for a very reasonable price from Chase at the dugout. It was $155 for the box. I know that's a lot lower than a lot of places are selling them, so thanks to uh, the dugout for a great price. And we get to open this up. There's 12 uh, packs, five cards per pack, and four hits in a box. So two autos and two yeah, relic two cards. Autos, two mems looking for tricolor cracked ice. The cracked ice look really cool. I saw some of those. Those are awesome. Um, zebra parallels and artistic impressions are both rare. I think they're made. I heard that they might, like, that one of those might be a case hit, but I'm not exactly yeah, sure. Yeah, I think maybe one of them is, yep. I can't remember. Um, they've got the base, premiere, and diamond level base cards, all the parallels. There's some cool, um, like, a 1993 select retro series in here that has, um, I'm not sure if there's insert cards, but I know there's relics and patch autographs and stuff, so some cool stuff. As with sure. all Panini products, they're not licensed, so that's a big, you know, setback to collectors. Uh, but... These cards look good, you know, look good, and uh, the Prism last year looked great, but the auto subjects were pretty tough, and these cards look nice Yeah, as they're well. definitely cool looking. There's the back. There's just the base card. Drill, Justin Dunn. Definitely we'll see some different players in here as well. Um, here's a Correa. Now, this is the diamond level, I believe, and I think it says it on the back, too. I'm trying not to give away the hit. Uh, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I saw this one said Premier Level on it up top. Oh, yeah. Yep. So I think this must be Diamond, the Correa, just by process of elimination. And then what's the what's the highest level? Diamond. Oh, is Diamond is? Okay. Um, all right. So we'll flip this over. We do have a hit here in the first pack. It is Edwin Rios, Patch Autograph. So there's our first autograph, just a base. Yeah, nice looking card. Nice looking, just clean card, numbered out of 209, kind of some weird numbering there. Angels, third baseman, who knows, you know, he could be a solid player. Um, kind of weird how it's a blue, I don't know, that's kind of funny. Was he on the Mets before, maybe? Kind of looks got... like it, or the Dodgers, maybe. Or the Dodgers, yeah. Wait, no, no, he actually is a Dodger. I thought that said Angels, but it just says oh, Los Angeles. Oh, oh there you go, stupid. yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it is a Dodgers card. yeah. Because that's the other thing. They can't say the, the name, right. the team name. Yeah. So. so there's the first hit there. Nothing too crazy. I don't know. There's some of the color and then the big name uh, guys are doing well out of this in terms of resale value. Overall, I'd say if you buy this box, I think they retail at like $225. you are going to get kind of murdered on it unless you get something huge. Here's one of the multicolors. These look sweet. Yeah, those are cool. Kyle Seeger has some purple and green in there. Those are not numbered. Not numbered. And then here's a trout. This is I think trout stuff's good. This is an the insert, right? Sensations insert. It looks like the basketball. What is it? The phenoms. Yeah, phenoms. The, yeah. Same thing. Yeah, Jesus Lazardo premier level base. Cards look great. Yeah, they look awesome. I love the like optic baseball too. They all look really cool. It's just the no license is kind of a bummer, yeah. but still not bad. Got another. This better be a. Was that a decoy? Oh, yeah, I was gonna say the corner, yeah. the corner there, but select always seems to have uh, quite a few filler packs. Anthony Rendon got a hollow. That's cool. Oh yeah, that's select cool. Select stars. Anthony yeah. Rizzo. That card looks sweet. So silver there and Lindor. Um, not numbered, but still cool. I like that card for sure. So you have five cards per pack. Not a ton of cards in here. Um, what is it? Five times 12? 60 cards. Yeah, 60 for... cards. Not, well, not bad. Not I bad. Guess, it, but... My guess is this stuff will drop in price. But Ooh, with... look at that. Cracked ice hit. Ooh. Will drop in price, but the um, way the market is right now, I don't know if that's even true. So Yadier that's Molina. Cool. That's cool looking. Green in the catcher's uni. And a Kevin Newman. I'm going to flip that Yadier Molina over to see what that's numbered to out of 99, 94 out of 99. And let's get into this. Probably a relic. Whoa. Oh, man. That thing's that's a huge. Cameo. Ooh. Whoa. whoa that's that cool. That is cool. Yeah. That's a nice card right there. Our Stidies Aquino. Look at that. One, two, three color patch. Yeah. 
I think those are numbered, yeah, to 25. That patch is awesome, though, for yeah, baseball. Is... You never really see cool patches in baseball that no, often. that unless... is actually quite a nice patch. Because yeah. you go in, in lower-end products, it's super hard in top stuff to get nice patches. It you is. have to go to, like, Definitive or something yeah, like that to, to get, get a patch like that. Now, is that so... just player-worn, I'm guessing? Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. A player-worn used material. Yeah. So, Still really cool, though. Definitely a yeah, lot better relic than I was expecting. That's a good one, yep. And honestly, that card probably has pretty solid resale value. I would think so. so. If, if you're uh, and only 25 of them, and if you're a collector of him, you know, might be something you would, you would like to add to your collection because it is a nice... Um, There's a bow rookie. And a nice soda. patch. That's cool. 25 20, man. 25 man. This card looks like it has something on it, but I think that's just part of the design. I think it maybe. may be part of the design, but uh, yeah. You gotta, that, I think that is surface damage. It could be. Let me look at it once. I don't know. That's really weird looking if it isn't. So, got another hit here to spot this. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. This is another relic. That's cool. Sean Murphy. So, they do have the big jumbo relics in here, which is sweet. Yeah. I'd rather get that than just like a tops where you get like a you know like a square right, like that right. big. So still cool. Not definitely not as cool as the Aquino, but So Luke's gonna pull all the hits and we're gonna be done. Uh, the colors sells better than most of the Yeah, hits, I know. Actually, That's usually so. it's usually the case with, with select. Alright, next pack. I think I have another flipped over card. I might have actually gotten all of the hits. Cole Hamels. We do have a red of John Means. And a Matt Chapman. So that Cole means is that a um, John means one ninety nine. That the first one you have there is that um, oh Cole Hamill. Yeah, Cole Hamill. Sorry, um, that's the base. That's the base. Okay, and then the the other one. This is a premier level. That's the premier level. Yep. And this one's going to be there's an autograph, so it is another auto, just a base. I have no idea who that Pitcher? is. Pitcher? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, no, Nico. it's not. It's Nico, yeah. Cool. Uh, so, Nico. Yeah, it's not bad. Corner, autograph, Ricky Auto out of 199. The hits in there are not terrible for some of the boxes that I've watched. We actually did yeah. okay. Um, some of them just don't have anything good. Let's see if we can pull a zebra so. or something gold but or. The color, you get a nice colored card. That's definitely going to carry way more resale value than a hit. Unless, you know, it's a big name, so. There's a Brandon Lau, Keuchel, and then a Sunny Gray. This is a Prism Premier Level. That's cool. And then your filler. And AJ Puck Hot Rookies. Remember that when they made that one football product in 2013, wasn't it called Hot Rookies? <laughs> yeah, that was awful. Oh yeah, I think it was two. Was it 2012? 13. No, it was 13. Yeah. Comment uh, down below if you remember that football product. Hot rookies. Hot rookies football. Oh, it was bad. Whew. It was such a you got like one base card pack. Yeah, it was it weird. Was such a weird it product. Was a weird it's probably one of the weirdest ones Mies ever put out. Aaron Judge, Giles, uh, Diaz, and then a blue. That's cool looking. Yeah, that's sweet looking. I don't see. I think that is part of the design. I think so too. Yeah, Joe Palumbo. Palumbo. There's some weird rookies in here. And that I don't Trevor know. Bauer. So there's you get that premier What's level. That blue numbered too. Let's look. Take a look. A one forty nine. So forty six. A one forty nine. I'm gonna. Oh, I don't have my phone in here. I think my phone's upstairs. I was gonna look up that Aquino and see if there's any others listed of that uh, relic. That's a sweet looking it's card. Really cool. Yeah. Once again, if you are um, interested in any of the cards in here, uh, just shoot us a DM or an email or something and you can work something out. I've been doing that a lot recently with stuff like Bowman. People want the new cards. and so. Colt Long, since you chew Marco Gonzalez. And, our, oh, that's, that's really sweet. Cool. Raphael Devers. Um, this is not numbered. But what kind of it? There's usually, what does it say? Phenoms. What's a phenom? Yeah, that's a sweet card. I like that one. That's cool. Definitely a sweet. And they did a good one. job with that kind of hiding where the logo would be. Like this card, not so much because you could see where the. Yeah, that one there wouldn't be no. Besides the side of his jersey, you're not missing a logo. So here's the Aquino. Here's the Aquino again. Uh, Toro. 
Now that to me is like the wrong uniform yeah, choice. <laughs> it's like the throwback uniform. It's all white. Uh, there's like Colton Wong, um, cool. Prism. So that's not bad. There's Jack Flaherty, Phenoms. That, that's a really nice like looking Phenoms, card. And then and here's Aquino an Aquino Premier. Premier. Not the not the prism, but still. I know, I'd say this stuff is pretty cool looking. It is. It. it is really nice looking. I I don't know if it's a two hundred and twenty five dollar product, but I'd say yeah. I think for one fifty, it's not a bad deal. Yeah. In today's stuff. Josh Bell. Yeah, you have to qualify that right in today's stuff. Um, today's market. Right. Not bad. And then there's a Trevor Story that's prism. The diamond level. So that's the rarest of the silvers. Uh, does it say that? It no. doesn't say it, but it is a diamond level. Oh, wait. No, it does. Oh, right there. There you go. Diamond level. So, yep, the rarest. And that's – my guess is these are maybe one a box. Probably, yeah. I'd guess so. Mike Soroka. I don't know that for a fact. But right. On a, but just guess. a guess, I'm guessing, because we we've only pulled one so far. So a lot of times they'll do that. They'll throw in one. Let's see if we can get a rare parallel here. Someone young. Baby. Yeah. Last pack, so we get a big, big hit. I don't see anything crazy, but who knows? Posey, Hendricks, and Sin Shu Chu. That's a prism. A base. Prism. And then Josh Bell. This Moon is Moonshot. That's pretty cool. The inserts are cool. I like them. Yeah, the inserts are. Yeah, that is. A, that's a beautiful card. And then our last card is Chris Paddock. So, not a not a bad box. Um, Definitely the cards, the base cards, everything, I think they look, look for nice. For product, they look cool. There's almost a lot. There's Whoa, there goes the camera. Well, okay, so we're still here. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I think for the, <laughs> the – there's enough going on with the cards that you kind of forget about the logos almost because yeah. there's so many different designs and stuff to look at, whereas yeah. with Optic, there's only like – well, there's, I guess, like the Diamond Kings, but in my opinion, Optic, it's a little more glaring than no logo. Yes, but yes. I don't mind it as much in this product. No, th these are actually a little bit better as far as, you know, hi trying to get your eyes off the no logo. But I still think, I mean, there's not a there's decent amount of color. Um, the Aquino is definitely the best card in the box, the Relic. Um, but the Nico Auto is nice, yeah, too. Yeah, it's not bad. It's yep. cool. Soto, Sean Murphy. This is a really cool that's card. A, that's a beautiful card. It's awesome, yeah. so... The cra always cracked ice. Panini's cracked ice are always, you know, nice looking. Trout inserts nice as well, and then the Edwin Rios. Who knows what that guy could be really good? So, who knows? the The multicolor it's kind of unique in that uh, football and basketball uh, select always has multiple multicolors. Like it seems like there's maybe six a box. Yeah, it, yeah. Instead of just one, that's what I was gonna right. say too. Like those actually seem kind of rare because in Prism basketball or select basketball, I mean, when we've opened it. You get like at least like four of those at bottom. Yeah, yeah, because it seems like if you don't get a parallel or a hit, you'll get one of those multicolors. This seems like there's more silvers than yeah. multicolors. So. Yeah. Anyway. Anyways, let us know what you think of Select Baseball 2020. Uh, would you buy a box? Uh, if so, what kind of price point are you looking at to pick one up? That's reasonable. Um, and uh, let us know what you think of our break overall. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. We have Bowman Baseball coming and then some other stuff as well that we're working on. So stay tuned for more videos. In the meantime, hit that little bell icon so you know when we post a video. That way it will alert you to uh, tell you that we have just posted some new content. All right, thanks for watching. Take care. Have fun collecting. We'll see you soon.